don't suppose you could make Andrew and James a coffee, could you? Mm -hmm. um, two sugars, two and a half sugars for James and one for Andrew. Yeah. Oh, he has a sugar. Or is it else? Yes, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew has a sugar. You have a sugar in your coffee. Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. So you'll have just seen um, Dicky growling at me this morning. And that is a regular occurrence. It's been the past year, I would say, since Dicky was about eight months old, that he growls when you kiss him. And it's not a vicious growl, it's not a get off me growl. It's almost as though he's purring, but you'll have just hopefully heard the noise um, that he makes. And I'd be very interested to know, if, firstly, if anyone else's dog does this, but also if I have anyone watching that is maybe a pet psychologist, because it really is quite peculiar. Um, I would say it is more of a purr than a growl, but it really is the strangest thing ever. And as you can see, He's the biggest softy in the world. He's so needy. He always has to be with his mummy. So it's definitely not a get off me or an I'm agitated noise. And we've even noticed that Dexter has started to copy him because he knows that I find the noise really cute and I just kiss him more when he does it. So now Dexter has started to do this kind of purr growl as well. It's very, very strange, um, but I've never known another dog to do it. It's just another special thing that my babies do. So anyway, I've just written today's to-do list and there's a couple of really boring things that I have been putting off for so long, including doing my expenses. I haven't done any expenses for the whole quarter um, and my accountant just emailed me saying that my tax bill is ginormous and I need to find some ways of chopping it down, one of which is with expenses, so I'm going to go through all of that. Um, I've got to finally finish my new presets because I'm getting so many questions about those and I also need to do a few Etsy returns because we've bought a couple of things from Etsy lately that have been real disappointments. I thought they were going to be nice antique pieces but they're actually really cheaply manufactured um, rip-off pieces. I bought a gramophone and like a little service trolley, both of which are rubbish and need returning. the attic bedroom or the Soho house bedroom as we're gonna call it and um, having complained earlier in this video a second ago about some rubbish Etsy purchases a good Etsy purchase has just arrived this is an antique oak and marble um, bedside table it's oak, is it? yeah it's oak Are you sure yeah same kind of oaky oak as the floor I'll be honest Etsy is just so hit and miss because this is lovely yeah but on the whole we've had a couple of we've epic had some fails quite bad experiences yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the bedside table for in here. It's got like a marble slab on the top and cute little drawer which I'm going to take downstairs and put a lining in it. I've got some wallpaper samples that I can make a little drawer liner. Um, and then it's got a fairly spacious little cupboard 
which we can fill with treats for our guests. And then I've ordered the lamps that I showed you um, in yesterday or the day before's video for the corners. I did think maybe it could go in that corner, but it really does completely hide the fireplace. So I reckon the tall lamp when we get it um, can replace this one in this corner. So let me show you. Um, the electricians are here as well, so you should be able to drill the mattress slats in because they've got a drill and then we can get this bed laid, which is very exciting. Oh, this is the mess that is my spilling over wardrobe area. I'm actually going to have a clothes clear out later because there's so much stuff here that I keep seeing and I'm like, I'm never going to wear that. Um, okay, let me show you. Ooh. So we had a delivery this morning of these two stunning armchairs, I think they're called the Aussie armchairs from um, Alexander, Alexander and James, James. Alexander and James, and so these are actually ex-showroom models which they very kindly have been loaning us, or they are loaning us, um, for a shoot that we are doing next weekend in the cinema room when it's done. I'm doing a little before and after, yeah the snug, before and after um, bit of content, but I think we might end up um, getting a couple of these to keep for good because they're absolutely beautiful. I haven't actually sat in one yet, have you? No, they've not obviously got the legs on yet. So no. They will obviously be higher. They are seriously good quality. And they come with the cushions, which I, I think is I actually massively... love this cushion. Yeah. I might um, put some tassels on it. I think this cushion... <laughs> I think this Oh, one, it's quite nice being low to the ground. Insane. How These are amazing. Do we even need to put the feet on them? These are my favourite item so far in the yeah. whole house. They're like, quite big chairs, but I feel like you could definitely like, well, have a naff again. Do you know the best thing about them? What? There's room for a puppy. Yes, there is room for a small and hairy. You've got a feeling your teeth. Um, oh, yeah. I, I like the fact that, I do like the fact, because originally we had hoped to get them both in that colour. Mm -hmm. Ochre, is that how you pronounce mm -hmm. it? Okra, ochre? Ochre. <laughs> um, because the sofa that we're putting in there is teal and the walls are quite going to be quite a dark sort of tealy green. Mm. However, I actually do quite like mix, mix and match. We shall see, but I love this colour. This is so comfortable. It's so like big and like my whole body is in this chair. Take a video of this compared to me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Do you reckon leave that cushion that colour? No, I'm going to make it oh i'm not gonna lie pop them swap them yeah that's what i was just gonna say yeah i'm not fine that. Nah, i prefer it the other way around that that chair needs a gold cushion like our soho house cushions downstairs yeah tasseled yeah okay that can be my my craft project okay. but yeah these are very very nice and they've got the gold studs very very impressive gorgeous quality we did sadly have a wall casualty getting them up here. The two delivery guys were so, so nice. Um, and this house and this staircase is obviously not the easiest, but yes, we do have a wall casualty, which we're gonna have to plaster and paint. Luckily, obviously this staircase does need decorating as you can see from that crack in the wall there, crack in the paintwork. Um, so yeah, just have to get that fixed soon. So I've got quite a few different wallpaper samples. For some reason I have two samples of the same wallpaper so I'm just going to cut that into place for the front half of the drawer and then I'm just going to have to put a little bit of extra in. Bit of a DIY jobby um, that saves me buying some proper drawer liners. There we go, my little DIY drawer liner. I've just secured it down with some double-sided tape and I think that looks rather cute. The postman has just dropped off some more fabric samples. So I ordered these because Charlie and I have got two um, antique French chairs being reupholstered for us by a seller on Etsy, <laughs> another Etsy purchase. And we wanted them to somewhat match the silk in our bedroom, so the silk on the bed. So I've ordered a few different samples 
in the hope that one will be quite similar. And I think that, I mean, it's not quite the same. It's a little bit more sage, but it's not too bad. I think it's definitely the best of the bunch. And the pieces aren't gonna be sat next to each other. We just want to have a little bit of continuity. We might end up sitting them in this little area, just as a little, um, a little nook. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good choice. Promising. It's promising, right? Mm. Darling, can you just explain what on earth is going on here? So Jonathan has come over today to sweep our chimneys. We are having this in the drawing room swept and the one in the entrance hall because we are hoping, aren't we, to have them as open fires. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a combination of he's sweeping them to clean them, which you have to have done a couple of times a year if you use the fires regularly. Mm -hmm. um, once a year is sufficient if you sort of use them every now and again. So he's cleaned them all out and apparently spider webs are, or cobwebs are, no, well, spider webs or cobwebs, because mm -hmm. they are different. Yes. Um, apparently they can actually really create issues so it's not even just the dirt and the grime it's the, and, and birds nests. It's even the, all the webs can stop the smoke mm. um so we've had that done and then he's using a smoke pellet to test the drawer on the chimney and this is really to establish whether we need a cowl put at the top like we have with the stoves already that encourages more draw right. or whether we can just leave it and just put a grate on top to stop birds nesting Okay. Yeah. Sense. So that's the, the that, that's really going to be the outcome of the smoke pellet. Mm. Either way, we can have an open fire in here. It's just how what we have to have done at the top. Now it is coming out of the top. Beautiful. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. My presentation skills could probably do with a little bit of improvement but we've got the herb from the garden walnut and cranberry frittata um, some salad leaves from the garden and I just quickly made a balsamic salad dressing in the thermomix it's red wine vinegar balsamic vinegar olive oil salt pepper and a little tiny bit of sugar 
got half the frittata left, which if I don't eat it this afternoon, um, then it can just go in the freezer. We've got plenty of salad, le salad leaves left. So surprise, surprise, I'm gonna watch an episode of Selling Sunset <laughs> while I have my lunch. And of course, Charlie's got the same, but with a couple of tomatoes. How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> the one with the waggly tail. So I'm just doing a little bit of sample ordering. Actually, not sample ordering. Full-size fabric ordering now that I've got my samples. Um, so I thought I would show you what I am getting. So this is the tassel that I ordered on Etsy a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of like a really light gold. Big fan of that. As you may have noticed, my DIY gel manicure did not last. I have um, three nails left, I think, because obviously I didn't prepare. I didn't use a base coat or a top coat. I'm not that surprised. But anyway, so this is a fabric from the National Trust collection of the Sanderson fabrics. And I'm ordering a couple of meters of this. Um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Really beautiful, nice thick fabric. And I'm going to make two fairly large square cushions and two bolster cushions, which are the round ones. Um, and I think with the square ones, I'll add the light gold tassel to the edges. And this is for the pink bedroom. The bed for that bedroom is coming at the end of this month. So I'd like to have the cushions all made ready. Um, and I might potentially order a couple of meters of this fabric as well. It's linen. It could be a nice one. I think they go quite nicely together. Um, but it could be a nice one for the curtains or the blinds in that room. Possibly not to be fringed i don't know maybe this would look nicer just with a plain um a plain edge but i am planning on also obviously not getting rid of the sausage dog cushion because we love it um but adding a few more cushions with this fabric on for this room just to bring in a little bit of florals i think i've showed you this before haven't i um but yeah i'd like to put some floral covers on a couple of these cushions as you might have seen from the little hyperlapse earlier, the electricians have been here today and we now have lights in the family room. So there's one over there, two over here, and one over there. Um, and Charlie and I chose these from Pookie Lights. We have most of the lights from this house are from there, to be honest. We've just found that they have a really good selection of designs that are very perfect for this house and not crazy expensive and I think that they make the wall colour look even better. The green obviously matches so well with the sofa and the footstool. We hopefully have um, a rug coming for here in the next couple of days as well and then where the back fitting of the lamp hits the wall it just makes the wall the pinkness of the wall show up even more against the contrast of the white so I'm very happy with those. I think they look even better further away. Um, Charlie's also made a purchase from our current favourite retailer, Soho Home. So this is a magazine rack and it's like a leather um, holder and then you've got these bronze legs and we've got our magazines in there. Some issues of Vogue, we've got some issues of Esquire <laughs> and all importantly an issue of Gardener's World. Tough day for my boys! silly doggies. So I'm just going to have a rummage through all of my fabrics and um, trims and place my order with Sanderson so that I can get making my cushions. The electricians have also popped um, some lamps or light shades in this room which is our, our old bedroom. It's going to be the cream and gold bedroom. The Soho house, uh, Soho home cushions look fantastic on here. Check so yeah they look fantastic and pookie and yeah it's nice because you know these are the same light fittings mm. as our bedroom mm -hmm. but the bedroom ones you have we've got them down down facing yes, down with, we the, do. with the glass sconce is it called mm -hmm. and these look fab they do i'm it's really nice happy gloves, with those. and we're getting this room um painted delicate white with the gold in the paneling and it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous 
Right, so let's head upstairs and do the boudoir. So what's this in here? Okay, so what my vision was, so obviously we're getting the vice spring bed with yeah. the rose coloured fabric headboard and rose coloured divan base. Yeah. Um, so what I was thinking is this fabric for cushions, two square cushions, quite big, with yeah, just careful because it was lint everywhere. Yeah. With gold, light gold tassel around the edge. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm gonna make them, and then two round bolster cushions with one dangly tassel, like a mini of that, coming out of either end of the bolster. Love it. So there'll be four cushions of this fabric on the bed. Fab. Potentially, this fabric then to really tie it in for the blinds. Like a pull down blind. How nice would that yeah. look? Yeah, well, it's a Roman blind. What does that mean? Foldy, foldy. Yeah, we're going to get a Roman blind. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, where are these four? Then? Oh, that would look stunning. So we're thinking maybe this chair, which used to be the um, the chair that everyone has in their bedroom for clothes that are too clean to go in the washing basket and too dirty to get put away. They live on the chair. <laughs> so it's quite, an where did we get this from, darling? I think your mum might have got it, that's that for us. Or we got it from one of those sort of antique not charity shops, but not far off. In yeah, Ross, in Ross. In, in Gloucestershire. Possibly, but I was thinking um, because it's so lovely in this room, it would look so nice in this pink fabric, perhaps again with a little bit of gold trim around the edge. And I think Caroline could do that for us, our local reupholsterer. I think that could look stunning. Oh, girl, Maxwell has been arrested. <gasps> has she? Yeah. Thank God, where was she? And potentially this fabric as well for the blinds. I know it would be quite a lot of this fabric, but I think it's so lovely. And it's from the National Trust collection. So when I got these from Etsy, the idea was that they would draw back um, some curtains surrounding the TV in here. But I don't know if that's just a little bit too extra. I'm not too sure. Um, but I did also buy... these <laughs> lion hooks to hold back the curtains yeah i quite like those actually that could look pretty cool hmm what do you think darling so the plan was to have curtains held back by tassels around the tv i think personally i love the idea but I think we need to wait until the TV's up, the room's painted. Yeah. It's like a phase two thing. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, now we've got it all set up. Phase two in this room. Every room needs a couple of phases. Mm. I.e. get it all to the, the, the initial point, live with it for a couple of weeks at least, mm -hmm. and then think, oh, actually, that will work perfectly. Because yeah. I'm not 100% convinced. Because if you come back where I am, one of the beauties of this old house, but also the problems, is nothing symmetrical. <laughs> and I think a curtain will highlight the lack of symmetry. It will look ridiculous, yeah. I, I, I'm not certain. Do you know the only thing that could work is one curtain mm. across the whole lot? Yeah, maybe. Because then, in a way, you would cover this area, which is where we don't have the boxes. Yeah. But we, I, I think phase two, if I'm honest, let's get the room painted. Yeah. And let's get the TV up and the setup working. So we need a nice old fashioned antique cabinet there. Yeah, Haley's already got one on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and then that's, and then we're going to have love seat here. So that's sort of like the cheap seats. Mm -hmm. You know, if we've got more than enough people, then we've got the sofa which fit three people at a push. We put our least favourite friends in the, in the window seat. Two armchairs. <laughs> So that's two, five, there's going to be a room for six or seven people in there. Yeah. It's a sporting event, you sit like this anyway. And then we're going to get a fridge in there, aren't we? For a cold one, mate. For a cold one. Okay, no, mate. Right, can you grab the fabrics, please, mate? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. And we are now back in the attic bedroom. Um, we're going to be finally putting the bed together. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all put together with the bedding on. And I've just bought my swatches. These are my new favourite thing to carry around with me all over the house. 
bought my swatches up in here because again we need to decide on um, a blind and window cover for there and for there and I will surprise surprise be making some more cushions I think potentially this could be quite a nice fabric for making cushions again with gold tassels around the outside it's got a little bit of a design to it this is the Sanderson potting room mead linen quite nice so yes I think that is a winner for the cushions I did also get some velvets because I don't know if I might want a velvet cushion in here but I think those colors would clash with the color of the bed and then I also bought some florals um, potentially for the blinds not sure don't really know. I need to think about the blinds a little bit more. I want to keep it quite old-fashioned. Maybe something like this, which is Arcadia by Linwood. Strawberry Punnet. That could potentially be... Yeah, actually, that's quite nice for the blinds in here. Hmm. We may have a winner. Looks quite nice English cottagey vibes. What do you think of this, Char? Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I love it, but not for here. For the blinds. I don't think it's right for in here. I think it's too floral. I think you wanted but her this, house vibes. Yeah, and so her house does have florals. Mm, I don't. No, I don't think it's right. I do. Look. Imagine it. It's a thick blind. No, not Blinds? right. No. Right. No. Honestly, I, you've really in here. Honestly, something more like this, like a fabric like that, like like a more of a just a thick, like a velvety fabric, not a floral or something like. I, I genuinely just think just, while I'm here just, I'm trying to move the wrist on it. just been able to see what Charlie and I were doing on the floor that sounds quite rude um, but we were just uh, it was a bit of a master of engineering actually we've basically had to put an underlay 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 so we've just been putting the underlay underneath the Soho home goodness that's a mouthful carpet rug and we've popped it half under the bed which helps with the stability and color wise it looks absolutely gorgeous so that's what we were just um, doing on the floor now we're going to pop the mattress on, the flat sheet, and these are bed linen, and it's going to look a whole lot more cosy. Obviously not quite there with um, accessories to the room like lamps, curtains, etc. But the bed is made and it looks seriously cosy. This room has such a nice feel to it. If I was a guest, I would be so comfortable in this room. Um, so I got this kind of knitted blanket from Zara Home. It's... Did you just bang your hair? It's just like a really classic chunky knit. And then we've got, again from Zara Home, the floral bed linen, which is just really cute and English cottagey. I've bought the Soho House um, cushions up here just to see how it looks. But as I mentioned, I am going to be making some cushions very similar to this um, for living in here permanently. But I just wanted to check how they look. And I think they look absolutely gorgeous and they honestly just look so so comfortable. These pillows are from Soak and Sleep and we had pillows from this company in Clapham and they are so comfortable. They are honestly like the best hotel cushions, you know, the best hotel pillows, you know, and your head just like melts in. So our guests are going to be very comfortable. The headboard, as you saw in the previous video, that sounded like a big doggy just fits in this space so perfectly. Um, I think I will put a different cushion here eventually, but this looks pretty nice there for now. The bedside table just suits this space to absolute perfection. We've got this gorgeous black peppercorn molten brown diffuser here and it makes the whole room smell amazing. Um, and then this is a reed diffuser or a um, room diffuser that I got from Amazon. We'll set this off when we're going to have guests staying in here because it's peppermint and that um, apparently discourages spiders. And then as you saw earlier, we've got the 
wallpaper in here charlie's added some of the peppermint and a tropic sleep spray just for our guests to use if they so desire and then there's still plenty of room on the floor down on the lower level obviously where you have the beam it's not terribly accessible but if we did ever want to get some more chests of drawers or just even somewhere for our guests to leave their bags it is really roomy for an attic bedroom with sloping ceilings it actually feels so roomy and as i mentioned i'd like to get a little unit here where people can sit and put their cosmetics or whatever with a nice little mirror on it and then we've got norman the gnome over in the corner really really happy with this rug as well let me try and show you a little bit of a better angle of the whole room so you can see how beautifully everything goes together i'm really really pleased with how this looks i hope you guys like it as well i feel like my vision has come true and yeah i'm really glad that we ended up going for this bed i think it looks gorgeous what you do you think a darling? great job it looks fantastic yay it looks so it's cozy so, it's not far off what we're hoping for yeah do you know what though the only thing i do fear mm -hmm. the only thing Obviously we're going to get a lamp here, which will bring a lot more light in, because it will be very dark in the winter. Yes. But the bedside table looks lovely without a lamp. Is it really low? Yeah, it's really it's low. It's not going to block the, the window. It won't. The lamp will only be up to about here. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the why I chose that one. Phenomenal. The, the bed and the rug are just perfection. Yeah, cosy room. I'm so happy with this room. Brilliant. It does feel like a Soho House bedroom. That it's was the vibe we were looking attic. for. Yeah. The attic if room. We have, if, if all else fails, we can become a boutique hotel and this can be called the attic room. Yeah. Boom. Now all we need is for coronavirus to disappear and to be able to guests. have some guests over. Yeah. <laughs> yep, well at least Lovely. we're ready for them. Yeah. To have guests en masse. The gnome is ready. Yeah, Norman's ready. He can ready. be themed. We can dress him up depending on the season. <laughs> so right now he needs sun, sunglasses and an umbrella. Yeah. April showers. Okay, all work for the day is done. We've just been for a very quick walk, about half an hour. You want to come and sit with your mummy, don't you? You're so needy. And I have realised that I now have a tried and tested way of getting Charlie to agree to have chips with me. <laughs> so normally he would just say, no, it's not healthy, let's make something at home. And I fully understand and appreciate that. But sometimes I just need to have chips. So I realised that the best tactic is to plant the seed earlier in the day because then his subconscious is thinking about chips all day and it's worked. I mentioned chips and battered sausage at lunchtime. I'm speaking quietly because I don't want him to know my plan. I mentioned chips and battered sausage at lunchtime just as like a passing comment like, oh, do you remember how nice those chips were last week? He's been thinking about it all day. So now when we're talking about what to have for dinner and I say, oh, should we just go into town and get some chips? He's like, oh yeah, I do fancy some chips actually. <laughs> so that is my strategy. I used to do it in Clapham with mac and cheese and burgers as well, but it's good to know that it works with chips. Um, so I'm just waiting for him to come downstairs and we're gonna tootle off and get some chips. <laughs> 